Hi, I'm Jacqueline Peng and this is Making the Call. The Naga National earned itself an upgrade to buy today. Afinhuang Capital says that market had turned too negative during the period of uncertainty when there was talk that TNB would buy Edra Energy. And now that it lost out to the Chinese consortium, its share price still isn't fully reflecting the removal of the overhang. Note that even without Edra, TNB will see its generation market share increase. Target price 15 ringgit and 50 cent, up from 12 ringgit. At last look, TNB was down 15% to 13 ringgit and 38 cent. Now on to Felda Global Ventures. Its deal to buy Indonesia's PT Eagle High is off, which Maybank IB Research says is short-term positive. It says at the purchase price of 17,400 US dollars per hectare, FGV would have never recouped its investment in PT Eagle High. This in current planting cycle at current CPO prices. Still, Maybank is maintaining its sell call on FGV as earnings visibility is low given its high cost base and the new minimum wage ruling. FGV is unchanged so far this morning at 1 ringgit and 70 cent. And finally, Glomac announced its second quarter earnings yesterday. First half core net income or CNI grew 24% to 42 million ringgit, which MIDF says was within expectations. The research house has upgraded the stock to a buy in June and since then it has performed very well with a 14% gain. And it believes there's still upside for Glomac with high FY16 CNI and net dividend yield. It's still a buy for Glomac, target price 1 ringgit and 8 cent. Glomac is currently trading at 90 cent, up 0.6% from yesterday's close. And that's it for Making the Call. I'm Jacqueline Peng. Thank you for watching.